Hi guys, welcome back to Sharmin's Kitchen. I want to say good night one, good night all. If you're visiting my channel for the first time, I want to welcome you to my channel. And I want to, I hope everybody had a wonderful weekend. It was kind of a rainy, gloomy day today, but we made the best out of it. Today, I'm sharing a recipe with you guys for bigany and some um, cauliflower fritters and some zucchini fritters. So it's the same concept of the bigany, but um, I'm just adding a few different vegetables to this. So for all my vegetarian friends, this is gonna be a wonderful recipe for you. And for all my non-veggie friends, this is a wonderful finger food for all of us. So come on down and let's get cooking. So for the snacks that I'm making today, I soak my split peas over eight hours. You can soak it overnight. You can soak it from morning till to the afternoon. Make sure that it's soaked properly. And what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna strain out this water that it was soaking in. And I'm gonna add my seasoning into this. And then my husband is gonna grind it up with our Omega juicer machine because it does a good job grinding this piece and then I will show you the next step. So I finish draining the split peas and I wash it from the water that it was uh, soaking in and now I'm gonna add my seasoning so I have some garlic, a small onion, some green onions and some maruri pepper. I'm gonna put all this into the peas so we're gonna grind the peas together with the um, seasoning and I'll come back and show you guys the next step. So my peas is done, less than five minutes. My husband grind it out in our Omega juicer. It's a juicer, but it can also grind split peas for palauri and it can also grind boiled split, split peas for dal puri. It can grind um, squeeze coconut to make coconut milk, cassava for pone and, and things like that. So it does more than one thing, not only juice. And this is what my peas look like after it's done with the, all the ingredients. So now I have to add my salt and the other um, ingredients. I will show you how I do that, but in no time at all, the peas was done grinding. So guys, the next step, I'm gonna start mixing the dough for um, the bigany and all the other uh, snacks that I'm making today. So in here I have my dry ingredients, which is the flour. I have two cups of flour and I'm gonna leave all the measurements in the description below. I'm gonna add my baking powder So just about two teaspoons of baking powder. I'm gonna add some salt. And because this is, um, I'm adding some vegetable in here and uh, split peas, I'm gonna add a little bit extra salt. So I'm doing one teaspoon, two teaspoon. And I wanna add some roasted ground jeera or cumin. So I'm going in here with my roasted jeera and some turmeric. And what the turmeric would do, it's gonna add a nice color to the bigany. And I'm gonna make some with um, cauliflower and I'm gonna do some with um, zucchini as well. So today we're making a batch of different vegetables. I'm just gonna give this a quick mix. So now I'm gonna mix everything well and you can see the color is different in the flour. And I'm gonna be adding my split peas into here. And if you notice the split peas is grind dry, not wet. There's a little moisture in the bottom, but that's it. I'm gonna add everything and then we're gonna mix this in. Let me just take the water from here to mix this mixture. 
So I'm gonna mix my water in. And I just wanna mention that I'm using the fresh um, grind split peas, but you can also use uh, split peas powder for this recipe as well. And I think it will work just as well as the fresh split peas if you don't have it. And I'm gonna add my water. I just added to the bowl I had the split peas in. So I can get out all that good stuff. And then we don't wanna add too much water because we're gonna mix this to um, like a stickier kind of dough texture. So now I'm done mixing it and I have a nice beautiful color. I can see seasoning in. And um, this is the texture I'm looking for. So I'm gonna leave it to set. I'm not making this right away because I'm working on something else. So I'm gonna leave it and you can leave it as long as you want. I'm gonna cover it and leave it and then I'll come back to this when, I fit, when I'm ready to fry the bigony, the cauliflower and the zucchini. So for today's, um, today's snack that I'm making, I'm making some bigony. And just like we make bigony, I'm gonna batter some of these cauliflower. I'm gonna batter some of the zucchini. And here is my mixture that I had setting. And for all my vegetarian friends, this is an amazing, amazing recipe with a variety of different um, veggies that you can have anytime and um, separately or however you like. And even for my non-vegetarian friend, it's a great snack when you have company over or you wanna have a, um, a quick party snack or anything like that, it's amazing. So I'm gonna start frying. I am doing the mixture. My husband is helping me to fry and I'll show you guys the next step. So now I'm gonna just dip my um, my eggplant or bygan into the thing, the mixture. And you have to be careful because it's easy for it to come off. You just have to spread it out a little. And we're gonna put this in the oil. The oil is ready. And then I'm gonna keep on doing this and I'll show you guys what I'm doing for the um, cauliflower and the zucchini. So I'm gonna keep on doing this process. We'll fry it until they're nice and golden brown and we will flip them on the other side and repeat the process you have to make sure that you're cooking it on medium heat because you don't want the outer layer to cook and then the um, bygone or eggplant is not cooked underneath so just be mindful of your heat medium heat is perfectly fine to cook them on so here they are frying up nicely. My husband is draining the first one to take it out. And you want them to cook until they're nice and golden brown. And these, these are made with without yeast, just baking powder. And um, the, I have more peas than flour into this mixture. So it's a little bit different from the one that you make with the powder, because this one you can, um, you can taste that rich um, split grind split peas in here. So we're gonna keep on frying and then I'm gonna show you guys the next step. For the cauliflower, I'm just gonna cover it up with the batter, just like what I'm doing with the um, bygan. And we're gonna fry these as well. So we're having a variety of fritters. It's really, really healthy and it's delicious and this one is very crunchy so i'm gonna put it in i'm gonna do a few more and let you guys see and you can do this with pretty much any vegetable that you like or you um your guests would like and they're amazing finger food really nice for kids and they're getting vegetables as well So I'm now doing the zucchini and then same concept, you may want to make sure that you cover both sides with the batter, spread it out nicely and then you put it into the oil. I'm going to cut 
continue, I have some more of the um, cauliflower ones frying up in there. So I'm gonna continue doing the zucchini now and we're almost there. So guys, here is my beautiful platter of uh, bigony I have here. I have my cauliflower fritters and I have the zucchini on the end with a nice bowl of mango sour to eat with this. So all my viewers and subscribers, you guys are invited to come on over and have a quick vegetable snack. A very well known and popular one in the Caribbean and delicious and tasty. So I'm gonna play it up in a few minutes and let you guys know how this tastes. So here I have my plate of snack and I'm gonna start with the bigony. So I'm gonna break my bigony and see how it is. You can't even see the um, bigon inside. And I like to make a nice dunk into my mango sour. So to all my viewers and all my subscribers, I wanna say cheers to you guys, to the bigony. And this is all time one of my favorite. To top it off, I'm going to have some sorrel drink that I got from Charlie's yesterday. And I'm going to go in now for my zucchini. And zucchini doesn't take too long to cook, so I can see how nice and soft this is. Like, it's really soft. I'm going to just break one, and I can tell that it's cooked. I'm going to take another dip. Cheers. Mmm, so crunchy on the outside and so soft on the inside. Amazing combination. If you never had zucchini fritter before, you gotta try it. And then now I'm gonna go in for the, um, actually this is a palauri. I had some extra flour, so I'm gonna just dig in. Mmm. So crunchy on the outside and so flavorful. So this one here is the cauliflower and same concept, but we're gonna try it out now with the batter. Surprisingly, the cauliflower is not crunchy still, it's actually cooked. We have that amazing texture with the um the crunchiness from the outside and there's a nice sweetness um in the cauliflower so a um, three beautiful combination they can go as finger food they can go for my vegetarian friends and kids love these so my last bite so amazing i want to say to you guys if you like this video please give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for? You just have to press that subscribe button once and that's it. Until then, I want to say stay blessed, stay safe. Bye for now.